Janet. I knew you'd find my note here at the refrigerator. Yeah. I've gone to the hairdressers and may be home a little late. There is a grocery list and money near the phone. Please go shopping yourself. Oh, no. Who wants me to do the shopping? I'm the world's worst in a supermarket. I don't know grade A from grade B. And she knows it. Oh, my gosh. What am I going to do? I know. I'll call Vicky. Oh, what's the use? She doesn't know any more than I do. A genie. A genie, huh? Where'd you come from? You ought to know. You brought me here. I did? Sure. You need help with your shopping. And that happens to be my business. Ready to go? Go? Where are we going? Behind the scenes. And we've got some traveling to do. Well, maybe I ought to wait for my mother. She'll be home soon. Oh, your mother's already taken this trip. She has. She never told me. Couldn't you guess? You know what a smart shopper she is. Okay, let's make the scene. Okay, you kooky genie. Let's go. Come on, Janet. Pop on in. At a girl. Gosh, genie, how did we get here? Oh, you know, break one sound barrier and you break them all. Well, what are we doing here? This is scene one, the meatpacking plant. Take over, George. Glad to, Jeannie. I'm going to tell you about meat inspection. Let's begin with one of our key men, the USDA inspector in charge. He's a doctor, doctor of veterinary medicine. At the moment, he's checking beef livers. And remember this, Janet, 85% of our meat gets this treatment. Before a single piece of meat can move from state to state, inspection is a must. How do you know if meat's been given this treatment? Look for the official stamp. This tells us that the meat products we buy are inspected for our protection. And inspection doesn't overlook one of your favorite foods and mine, frankfurters. USDA sees that every machine is scrupulously clean. We also okay design, construction, a whole bit. Now, when your hot dog is USDA inspected, rest assured you're biting into a wholesome one. The USDA seal appears on the label of every inspected package. Call it a wiener or a weenie, a frankfurter, or just plain frank. It's still a hot dog. You crazy genie. What are you doing up there? I want to see if I pass inspection. <laughs> a kitchen reject. Like the meat packer, the poultry processor must meet the same meticulous requirements throughout his plant. Every bird must be individually inspected. It must prove to be wholesome or else it is condemned. Only the plumpest, the meatiest, are tagged U.S. Grade A. Look, Jeannie, frozen dinners. They're easy to cook. All you have to do is put them in the oven and heat them up. And eat them up. What's more, eat them in confidence, Janet, because they too are inspected. The label tells you. Just check it like all good shoppers. Now, here's the Federal Inspection Laboratory where products are checked. But where's Jeannie? Jeannie? Where are you? Jeannie? What are you doing in there? Come out of there, Jeannie. Aw, oh, gee, Janet, I'm trying to play it real cool. Hey, look, the home economists are here. They want to make sure the label is able and stable. Now, the job of our home economist is to make sure the package contains exactly what it says it does. Before a processor puts out a new product, or makes changes in his label, he must first get USDA's approval. 
Now let's leave the test kitchen and look at a lab where a chemical analysis is ready to take place. Say, what's so funny? <laughs> How do you always manage to get into these situations? Hmm. Occupational hazard. My father used to warn me, never be a genie. Don't ever be a genie, Janet. You mean there can be girl genies? Do you have a genie girlfriend? Come on, tell me. Well, she has light brown hair and, well, you know the rest. <laughs> Excuse me, you two, to continue with labeling, please. By checking samples of meat, which are sent in, the chemist serves as a scientific backstop for the inspector working in the processing plant. Does the product contain harmful bacteria or residues? Tests such as these are designed to assure you that you will get wholesome food as shown on the label. The label design itself must also meet USDA requirements. The inspection stamp must be clearly displayed. And Janet, here's a hint that will help you know exactly what it is you're buying. The item weighing the most must be listed first and so on down the line to the item of the lightest weight. Since brown gravy is here listed first, the product contains more gravy than sliced beef. And to be called chili con carne with beans, ingredients must contain at least 25% meat. In Spanish, Janet, carne means meat. Hmm. The USDA inspector is your insurance and mine, but rules are not broken. No phony baloney. I thank you. The shopper knows what she's buying because it's all there on the label. Say, we'd make a great team. Yes, I can see it now. Janet and the genie. I was thinking of genie and Janet. Oh, no. I like Janet and the genie better. Oh, I don't care. Inspected and passed. Wholesome. Safe to eat. U.S. grade A. Plump and tasty. What a beauty. Look at the label. We can rely on its information, and it will look like this inside. How am I doing, Jeannie? Looks like my Janet doesn't need her genie anymore. Well... That's how it goes in Genie Land. We learned a lot from you, Genie. And you know what? They're loads of fun, too. Wait till I tell Vicky about you. You'll have to give her up. Genie? 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 Where are you? Genie? Where did you go? I know where you are. Come out of there, Jeannie. Jeannie? Who's Jeannie, a new girlfriend of yours? Oh? oh, no, I guess I was just talking to myself. I see you bought the groceries. Did you have any trouble? No trouble, Mom. In fact, I actually enjoyed it. 